46 dogs were rescued by the Humane Society International. Some were taken to shelters in New York and Pennsylvania, and 11, including Linda here, landed in Queenstown. <laughs> These sweet little faces are free. Just last week, they faced a very different future. The Humane Society International rescued these dogs from a dog meat farm in South Korea. They arrived in the U.S. Saturday. They were just kind of kept in the shed with a lot of kennels and, and a lot of dirt. Shelter manager of the Animal Rescue League of Queen Anne's County, Kirsten Northrop Cobb, says for some of the dogs, this is their first time on grass ever. She says either they were going to become someone's meal or possibly work as puppy mill dogs. And as expected, they're a bit timid, but coming around. Northrop Cobb says some of the dogs appear to be socialized, so she thinks they came from families before going to the farm, while others were probably bred on the farm. The Queenstown shelter has a variety of breeds. Um, we've gotten in a German short-haired pointer. We've gotten in a Shih Tzu and some spaniel mixes, a chihuahua, and mostly the Korean jindus. The next chapter for these young dogs starts now. Everybody's going to be vetted this week. Um, we've started working on their behavioral evaluations to see what kind of home they can go to and where they would, they would thrive. The Humane Society International says about 17,000 other farms still operate in South Korea, and meat from about 2 million dogs is eaten there each year. The animal advocate group says it's rescued more than 800 dogs from such farms since 2015. Now these dogs will eventually be up for adoption, but the Animal Welfare League says if you're interested, you should stop by first to meet them. Reporting in Queen Anne's County, Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News.